Here is a word problem which has perimeter of triangle in it. So let's see how to solve this kind of a problem. It says the perimeter of a triangle is 71 centimeter. The first side is 3 centimeter shorter than the second side and the third side is twice as long as the first side. Find the length of the longest side. So what we can say here is Let's define our variable first. Say so let the sides or side length of triangle be. So I want to use variables as first, second, and third. So we'll use B like F for first, S for second and t for third. So these are my three sides, right? Now let's read the question. The first side is 3 centimeters shorter than second. That means first side is 3 meters shorter than second. Second minus 3. So we get this relation. And the third side is twice as long as first. So third is two times as long as first. Correct? and find the length of longest side. This is what we want to find. And we are also given that the perimeter is 71. So what is the perimeter? Perimeter is sum of all the sides. That means F plus S plus T. First side, second side plus third side. We know what perimeter is. In this case it is 71. So we get, let me solve it here now. We know 71 is the perimeter which is equal to first side, second side and t. So what we can do is we can write each variable in terms of one variable. So we should decide which one is the best for us. We can write t in terms of f, it is given to us. We know f as s minus 3, right? So we could write, we could also write s in terms of f. Then we'll have everything in the form of first side, right? We can do that. And it seems t is bigger. It is better to write in terms of uh, t. Okay. Now, what we can do here is, we can write here, we can translate this equation. So, let's look into this equation once again. We can write what is s equals to. We can say s is equals to f plus 3. Correct? Now, with that, we can write t and s in terms of f. So every variable will be in terms of f. It will be easy for us to calculate. Correct? So now perimeter is f plus s plus t. Right? f plus s plus t. Now perimeter is 71. So for f we will write first side plus what is second side? It is f plus 3. So we will write f plus 3 for second. So for instead of s we are writing f plus 3, right? And then, what is t for us? t is 2f. So, we'll replace this t by 2f. Do you see that? So, we get one equation in which there is only one variable and that is first side. Now, let's combine 2 plus 1 plus 1. 4f plus 3 is 71. So, we'll take 3 on this side, 71 minus 3 equals to 4f, right? And 71 minus 3 will be 68 equals to 4f. And from here we can find what f is. 68 divided by 4 is f, right? So we get f equals to 68 divided by 4 and that is equals to it goes 1 times 28, 7, 17. So, first side is 17. As you can see, T, the third side is the longest side. You, so, we can calculate what all the sides are from this. If first side is 17, then what is the second side? So, we'll put equation. So, we got F equals to 17. So, from here, S is equal to 17 plus 3. 17 plus 3, which is 20. Our third side, 
2 times 17 which is 34 is it okay so therefore we can say the longest side is Thirty-four centimeter, and that is the third side, right? This is the third side. So that is our answer. The longest side is thirty-four centimeter, right? It is the third side. So that is how we can answer this question. Thank you.